you know, like I've got like <laughs> what, what some people would call hypochondria yeah. and what other people, doctors health like Health anxiety issues. Health anxiety. So like a few years ago, me, uh, me dad had a heart attack and a, a month later I started getting bad chest pain and like breathing issues. And every time it happened, I would ring an ambulance, go to the hospital. And I'd get there and there's these doctors looking at me like, you're 22. Yeah. You're not going to have an heart attack. But you, and you were you here half an hour ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got it's to a sixth point, ambulance today. I've told this story on other podcasts. This, this is true. So it was happening so often that I felt stupid because I was going to the hospital like three times a week via ambulance with suspected heart attack as like a 20 year old. Now I'm fat. But I'm not heart attack at 22 fat. Do you know what I mean? There's a difference between those two. There's a difference between struggles with four flights of stairs and heart attack at 22. Yeah. And the, the doctors, they have to treat you a certain way. They can't go to you. You're not going to have a heart attack. Because then if you have a heart attack, you can sue the NHS. So they go, look, it's extremely unlikely, especially because you don't do cocaine and you don't smoke. It's really, really unlikely. But, you know, if you ever get really bad chest pain and you feel like you need to come back, do come back. So then when your anxiety kicks off and you get an unbearable chest pain, I'd just go back. But I'd then be sitting there feeling a little bit better in the like corridor they put you in, in majors at the Royal Liverpool Hospital. And you just sat there going, these must think I'm a fucking idiot. I must be the biggest dickhead they've dealt yeah. with all day. And there was one day I'd come in at the same time as this other lad. And uh, he'd been throwing up blood because he'd been like triaged next to me in the corridor. So I heard everything that had gone on and he'd been throwing up blood all day. And like he's sitting there, he's gone white as a ghost. And I'm like, look, I'm sat here not having a heart attack for the fourth time this week, dealing with the same nurse and doctor who's dealt with me every other time this week. They're going to fucking hate me. And this lad's there, and I'm like, this lad's throwing up bloody. He's got real problems, and I felt like a fucking arsehole. And then they sent another nurse over to him and was like, we've done a lot of tests on you, and there's not... Like, they've done an ECG on this lad and all that, and whatever else they've done. Like, yeah, we can't... You haven't had, like, loads of red wine or rye beer, have you? And he was like, I drank a full bottle of rye beer earlier. <laughs> <laughs> And he'd just been throwing up right being And I've never felt, like, more relieved. I was like, oh, I must be, like, a fucking hero to these people. <laughs> At least it, I, I actually think I'm having an heart attack. <laughs> yeah. This guy's over with some fruit juice. 